All right, fuck it, this is gonna be awful. I hope you had as much fun on Redemption 17 as I did because it was a blast riding with Alexander all over the southeast, getting in all those trails that I had never done before, racing, adventuring, having some intense moments. It was so much fun. So I'm back home now. Well, not actually home yet. I'm at the habit eating a burger. And oh boy, did you guys get a kick out of me eating those chicken McNuggets. <laughs> all I can say is you make your choices, I'll make mine. I feel pretty good about them. Okay, so now I'm actually back home in the studio. It's been a long time, and I just wanna give you guys a bunch of different updates. So first and foremost, our buddy Sean, who crashed at Bent Creek, his leg is healing up, but now he needs physical therapy, because basically he wasn't able to bend his leg while it was healing, and now that it's better healed, it's very tough to bend his leg. So he's gonna do physical therapy. We're still waiting on word about the bills and the cost of all this, which was, of course, Sean's number one worry when he was there lying on the ground. And uh, if he does need help, we're gonna be here for him. So there's still a lot of confusion about what happened. Our best guess is that he landed, one end went into the ground, the other end went into his thigh, and it was still had a bar and cover on it. It's just such a blunt force trauma that it still went into his leg. The, the carbon bar did snap on impact, but part of me thinks that is actually a good thing, and then it dissipated the, the, the impact, where if it was an aluminum bar, it might have kept pushing on through. My bike's still in the bike bag. I haven't taken it out. I haven't taken the tape off to check the crack that I have in my frame, so I guess we should just do that real quick. I have the replacement rear triangle right here. This thing is a friggin' thing of beauty. Ugh, I remember when my bike looked this nice. Kind of hoping it just got really worse under there because uh that would kind of help my 400 dollars that i just paid for the replacement so there it is there's some uh paint chipping and it's really not that crazy but it did get worse for sure and it's not a warranty i can't it's not something i can warranty because obviously it was a crash look at all these scratches come on definitely very squeezable right here so i'm glad that i'm not going to be riding on it so one of the conditions of the replacement rear triangle was that it has to be destroyed or I have to send it back. So I guess I need to destroy it. So here's the thing about YouTube. I could make the title of this video, they made me cut my frame and I could have the thumbnail be like, ah! and a lot of people would probably find this video, click on this video, watch this video, and then not understand why the first three minutes or so is just me talking to the camera and basically just go away. Sometimes those videos help people find my channel, help them learn about my story, that I'm chasing my dream, that I was a web developer, that I quit my job, and that YouTube is my full-time thing, and riding the best trails in the world is my mission. But I so much prefer slow growth. I so much prefer people finding me from a really good riding video, and liking my goofy commentary, and hanging out with Alex, and just doing stupid stuff, instead of just gimmicky ass shit. That is, it's just so pointless. I have that, the Sean injury video, tons of people, tons of new subscribers, those people are not sticking around. There's no way, like, you know, in, in the next time they see a video from me, they're unsubscribing, they don't, they don't get it. They're, they just rushed in because it was kind of a shock value thing and they'll be gone, which is totally fine. But the 10 or 20 people that actually do stick around that like what I'm doing, welcome aboard. I, I'm glad to have you. All right, there's really no good way to do this. I'm quite uh, scared and I don't think uh, I, I hope carbon shards aren't gonna fly out. I've got my eye protection on and all that, but uh, ah, all right, fuck it. This is gonna be awful. Pretty strong stuff. All right, so now that that's taken care of, let's move on to some other stuff. If you're on Patreon, if you follow me on Facebook, if you check out my Instagram, and especially if you check out my Instagram stories, which I think there's all kinds of fun stuff going on over there that you guys are missing out on. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Definitely check out Instagram. It is the hot spot right now. So you guys that are hanging out outside of YouTube already know that I'm doing a Chasing Epic Moab trip, October 13th through the 16th, all inclusive, bikes included. BKXC jersey included, a different type, like a one of a kind, just for this trip kind of thing. 
Check out the link in the description. It's gonna be badass. You guys saw the St. George trip. I'm sure you felt like you wish you were there. Make it happen. There's not that many spots available already because I opened it up to the people on Patreon, the people on Facebook, and the people on Instagram. They, they got there fast, so you YouTube folks need to uh, catch up. Redemption 17 may be over, but you can still buy the Redemption 17 t-shirt. I'm jazzed at how this came out. There's a, a little sweat happening because it's very uh, hot in the garage, so you know. Gray will show the sweat, but I think it, it sh shows the logo the best. But there's a red version, a green version, all kinds of version. There's tank tops, there's uh, ladies tees, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna close that up pretty dang soon. So get on it while it lasts. So I think that's it for the updates. Oh yeah, I've got this ring on. This is like a little uh, smart ring fitness tracker device. It has heart rate, it tracks my sleep. I just got it yesterday. So no update yet on whether it's decent or not. Hope it's good. I love this stuff. I love to nerd out on like, quantified self it's called and I'm gonna be the first person getting a chip implanted into my body when it's available and it actually works right. So that's a little slice of what's to come. There's actually way more stuff to come and I'm always feeding off of ideas and always getting hyped up about what's next. But thank you guys for watching this video because it's you guys that actually make it through these types of videos where I just talk to the camera. You are my people. You're the reason why I, I'm halfway to my goal on Patreon. That is so important. That means if YouTube goes away tomorrow, I can still keep making videos. I'll just go on MySpace or Vimeo or Facebook, wherever video is gonna be, I can still do it because I still have you guys to keep this dream alive. It's amazing. Thank you. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.